KFC, fam. KFC, fam. Look at that. Oh, we're going to head up on... I love you, Colonel Sanders. Uh, I think you're looking, looking good, good dating simulator. It couldn't even fit on there. <laughs> it says <is> good. <laughs> this is good. It's like faded. <laughs> Girl, it's good. Anyway, what's up, you guys? I'm here with legs today, and we're gonna play this game because it's free, and I don't know why. <laughs> but we look at look at him though. He's KFC, man, bro. Very excited to play. This game. My name. Oh my god. Before you get started, tell us your name. It's gonna be a whole series. Okay, wait. I'm a, I'm a woman. I'm a woman. I'm a woman with needs. <laughs> <laughs> Karen. <laughs> Karen. 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 We're gonna be Karen. We're gonna be the strict manager. We can hit on KFC man. Celery. Calling her Sanders. We can hit on Sanders. That's Karen. Cause we're like, can we talk to the manager? No, ma'am. But the owner's here. What? Can I talk to him? What is this? The prison? That's a chicken bowl. Okay. You sleep softly on the, as the morning sun casts a warm glow through the window of the modest student apartment. We're in school! <laughs> There's a chicken on the wall. <laughs> We're in love with KFC, bro. Wait, is that, a, is that the poster? Or like is this, a little is this our band? Is that who I think it is? All right. I don't know. <laughs> the world is peace, peaceful and serene. You could stay in the moment forever. <laughs> or you could wake up now, now, now. Your first day of culinary school is no time to sleep in! <laughs> Throw the clock out the window and stay in the forever. We gotta go get, get our dates. We can't. There's no time to lay in the bed. Lying in the bed, you stare at the ceiling, thinking about everything that waits you at the prestigious University of School Cooking Academy for Learning. Your mind begins to wander. Oh, so we're gonna meet him <laughs> at school now. So he's gonna be at school, finger licking good. <laughs> Who would be there? What would you cook? What should you wear? Time begins to fly. I don't care what I wear. Oh, if we're going, to, this is a dating sim, so we gotta take it seriously, bruh. <laughs> Get I better make sure they're right prepared for the first day of school. You bust through the morning checklist, teeth brushed, air, air, <laughs> hair comb, pits deodorized. Nothing can stop you now. You calmly grab a biscuit, strut out the door, and head off to class. <laughs> oh my God, a holy biscuit! And what you need Is to get your blood flowing. Is this a cliche where he runs? She runs into like him on the way to school. <laughs> you probably won't be wrong with that. We're sitting in the. The quad. You gaze up on the magnificent University of Cooking School at Academy for Learning. Becomes <laughs> your lifelong best friend forever. But yeah, I'm <laughs> she's the most adorable, awkward person you ever met. And you absolutely love her for it. <laughs> Good morning, Karen. <laughs> Are you excited for your first day of the rest of your lives? We gotta act like a Karen. Actually, I. <laughs> because I'm sure excited, a little nervous. Okay, okay, a lot of nervous. What the? It's just that the morning I made breakfast for myself, but well, when I ate it, I couldn't taste any love in my food. What if I'm no good? What if I fail? Oh. <laughs> Classic medium, raised by Master Chef Paris, she's always had herself to a very high standard. Ever since we were babies playing together and you rescued me from the quicksand box, it's been clear to me that you're the most loving, caring person I know. You're going to be great. But the University of Cookies, quit crying. You just look scared. Ooh, I skipped that. <laughs> The sweet girl Miriam has always had a flair for dram dramatic. This summer she got so nervous about her first kiss that she chipped a tooth pregnancy on a mannequin. How? Okay. <laughs> well, we're gonna be a Karen, so we're gonna have to give her a pep talk. Because that's what Karens do. Remember last month when we saw the fortune teller and had our tarot cards read? Mm. The lady with the mask who gave me nightmares, I have been trying to forget. I know she looked spooky, but she was so sweet and she told you that we were destined for great things. Remember that card with the fancy looking tower and that other card featuring the handsome fellow in the red suit? Oh my god, it's KFC, man. <laughs> Oh my god, KFC. <laughs> I've been waiting for so long to he meet a handsome fellow I could call my own. And I'm sure you so will soon. In no time we'll be graduating. You'll be delighting the world with your heart felt cooking in no time at all. As you talk with Marta, you can feel her nervous begin to ease. You know what? Maybe everything will be okay after all. And if not, at least I have these killer bangs. Can you believe I cut them myself? Can you definitely believe it? <laughs> I, uh, I, I cannot believe it. <laughs> Before you get to another word out, you rudely really interrupt it when someone smacks your books and custom engraved measuring spoons out of your hands onto the ground. Hey! It's Ashley! Your arch rival. Oh, she got the the the, the juggle. The, the, <laughs> the juggle. The, 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 I mean, I can see why she's competition. I mean, she has a big heart. Right you, there, she's, listener. She's totally evil, but you can't help but be filled with jealousy. She can get anything she wants, and she knows it. Hello, Ashley. Oh, I didn't see you there, chicken shins. <laughs> you leave Karen shins alone. They are perfectly normal shins. 
Ugh, you can't stand Ashley. Even her name is annoying. You know for a fact that it's actually Ashley, but she had to add extra letters to make herself feel better than everyone. <laughs> I mean, well, if anyone here knows what perfect stands look like, it's us. We're not going to let you... Let you or your wheelie insults get to us. Across the quad, you see Ashley, his best friend. Va va van the man, my man. I stop to look at his own reflection in the mirror. He pits. His pants are so tight, you can see him casually working out his glutes <laughs> while he styles his hair. No lie, they're rocking glutes. <laughs> van van. Oh my god, he's hot! You ring. <laughs> you ring ring? He's annoying, annoying. <laughs> You have made some arrangement is, but as long as you know them, them Ashley and Van and Van has been just as close as you and Miriam, but substantially are more devious. I can't believe the University of Cooking School Academy for Learning would even allow like allow people like you to attend as students. I know, right? You think they're just hands up as our diplomas now? I can't read anymore. I'm so it's this Pex. <laughs> it's this Pex, her big heart and Banks. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe hi hire us as a professor. Your amateurs could learn a lot from us. With the first day of school about to start, there's just not enough time to properly tell the these two off. So you resist the urge. But you're Karen! You can't resist the urge! Psh, see you later, losers. As you approach the door, you, you're, you see a goofy looking kid pushing hard against the window directly. <laughs> <laughs> Oopsie! I think it's broken! You reach forward and easily pull the door open. Uh, that should do the trick. I love you. <laughs> thank you mean thank you. His name is Pop. My name is Pop. <laughs> <laughs> it was named after my Pop Pop. He's old. Such a casual name. This is so casual. Could someone like this ought to be a student at this school? He must be one heck of a chef. Also, his name tag clearly says Bob. But I guess he's reading it upside down. His Pop. Hi, Pop. I'm Karen. So, are you going to make me hold this door all day? Nope. With that, the young man walks into the building ahead of you. Aww. Is it just me or you? Is he kind of cute? Oh my god! Oh my Get god. the cops! Call the police! I think it's just you. <laughs> I agree. You both shrug your shoulders before following him into the building. You stand at the edge of the room, unsure where it is sitting. Who's that man? <laughs> it's George Clooney. <laughs> I don't know. I just, I just think it's the United States. You stand at the edge of the room, unsure where it is sitting. Other students wander in, keep the stairs in a oh my god, it's a, oh, it's a doggy with the glasses it's and a, a spatula! I'm pretty sure it's a corgi. Is he the one that's gonna be teaching us how to cook? No, it talks! It's and a corgi! It's sprinkles! <laughs> it's a corgi! He's it's on a podium. Corgi. Yeah, the chicken right there. Right there. I couldn't tell what that was. <laughs> the chicken. Now, now, quiet down, everyone. Who is this unreasonably cute puppet? Why is he a culinary class? He must be sprinkles. Hey, did destroy the see up? Dang, he a whole head master. Oh, please call me Professor Dog. <laughs> I may be cute and little and fluffy, but I still demand respect. Woof. What a cute dog is our professor. What? A cute dog is our professor. This is the best girl ever. I guess only dogs know is capable of picking up all the nonsense stuff. I'm surprised nobody like criticizing that the dog is like literally like happy that she just recognized him and then like he's talking. Yeah. Out of nowhere, white wind begins to rush around you and a swirl of cherry blossom petals fill the air inside the classroom. Where did the petal awesomes come from? I'm chilly. Someone close the window. Oh, and then. Oh my God! Look at the KFC man with the gorgeous eyes. That styling stash in that beautiful beard just catches those eyesights. You immediately swept in the aura of this new student and his remarkable goatee. Who knew anyone could be hands with knives stand still? It's him. It's. It, 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 is it my favorite student, Harlan? Colonel Sanders interrupts Sprinkles. Sorry, Professor Dog. Before he can finish his sentence, please call me Colonel. 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 I think it's Colonel. Colonel Sanders. Colonel Sanders. Colonel Sanders. I'm pretty sure. A harsh moment rose to the classroom as Professor Sanders walked down the aisles of death. Suddenly, this room is sweaty. Sweat begins to bead across your brow. You feel like everyone is looking at you and you're not entirely wrong. Uh, and, this, and this over here must be sweaty sweet salat. Sweats. <laughs> oh, <laughs> sweet. <laughs> at least I gave myself a compliment. Maybe we should open that window back up before faucet pits melt into the puddle and evaporates entirely. This is like teenage drama. Yep. Hold on just a second. Nobody talks to my friend like that. You two both know my name. We were in the same kindergarten class. So what is with all your really weird insults? Besides when Karen sweets. Sweats? <laughs> Why are you saying sweet? I don't know. It's not gross. It's beautiful. Look at the shiver. You take a moment to clean yourself up. 
It's a good thing you didn't forget about that deodorant this morning. This classroom is hot, hot, hot! <laughs> Professor Dog <laughs> steps in the cell in the classroom and sets some ground rules. Welcome to the University of Cooking School Academy for Learning, the greatest culinary academy in the world. The birthplace of culinary legends, past, present, and future. Many challenges await you. There will be tears, there will be blood. There might even really be a joke or tiny food. My favorite. <laughs> <laughs> and then all is said and done. There will be a battle. You will lift your sports. Don't ever wear sports. Don't, no, no, sports is a bad thing. <laughs> and compete in the broom cooking arena. Just then, another student enters the classroom and towards Professor Rousing Street. Hi, guys. Sorry I'm late. I'm hoping everyone has a good summer, I believe me. This student is, um. He's different from the others. <laughs> Quiet! <laughs> Late the class is bad enough, but interrupting my monologue, you are the first track out of here, young man. Are you sure you're even in the right place? Don't you recognize me? This is my third year in school with you as my teacher. It was just him, blankly. Does no one remember me? I. <laughs> you expelled if you're in utter one more word before me. Look at Poor guy. <laughs> He's so cute. He's so I cute pupils. <laughs> Let that be a lesson to you students. That target is unacceptable. Ever clank made. Even Clank made it here on time, rolling halfway across the town on his tiny wheels. You turn to the sea student Sprinkles is referencing, who appears to be some sort of industrial kitchen appliance. <laughs> Where? What the heck? Them eyeballs, though. Oh, look at that gorgeous metal rod. I will just reintroduce real quick. The class bursts into laughter. He's happy. Oh, Clank, you rascal! I hope I turn his nose up there. <laughs> Springfield walks in the classroom as everyone stands in silence and obedience. When he gets to you, he lifts his nose into the air and takes a deep sniff. Hmm, your diet is lacking based on what I'm picking up here. You definitely need a multivitamin. You should be taking better care of yourself. You never had a talking dog as a teacher before, but Springfield's reputation for being smart but tough as well. No, that's kind of weird. Sorry. Just... You decide to try and butter him up by giving him a treat from your pocket, but what kind? A chicken snack. A chicken snack because we, we, we want to we wanna reel in Colin on Sanders. A rubber ball? Mm, he's hungry, so we can give him a chicken snack. You reach beneath your apron and return with a chicken snack in your hand. Sprinkles' eyes go white as he locks onto it. His favorite! Oh! What if I just end up dating the dog instead? Like, I'm okay with that. Some buffer would come to my place and be a good boy. Oh my god. <laughs> Well, 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 I think there might be some competition for our new star student. The furry professor immediately devours the snack, leaving your hands thick with a coating of warm doggy drool. You see the other students eyeing your jealousy, but pay no mind to them. If they wanted to succeed in life, they should have learned the importance of carrying a range of dog treats flavored <coughs> on them at all times. Shut up. <laughs> Settle down, young chefs. Take your seats and prepare your minds to open into the amazing possi possibilities of culinary creation <laughs> as everyone rushes to claim their favorite seats you're left standing at the front of the room only two options remain one's gonna be next to yeah <laughs> hey Kara there's a st ah! it seems that no one has claimed his seat next to me if you're interested should we take our best friend's seat or Colonel Sanders I mean we don't want to seem too clingy at first we're a Karen we're gonna talk to his importance uh we're gonna talk to him. Uh, <laughs> we'll come back to you, buddy. <laughs> you can't leave your friend hanging. You cannot leave your friend hanging for a man. You just can't. It's but before guys, fam. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. But look at the eye socket. The eye sockets. Never heard that one before. But what if he likes? It? Okay, okay. I'm a Karen. We're gonna talk to him later and be nice. We're gonna sit by our best friend. Move to take your seat by Miriam. I'm so glad you have to you near me to support me through this class. Of course, you're my best friend. Who else would I sit by? Colonel Sanders. He has such a magnetic personality. And to the seat over right next to him. If you had sat there, you might have got to know him a little better. I never sacrifice a person. Besides, I'm sure I get a chance to talk to him later in the semester. I've got three whole days that looks like a lifetime. Okay. Well. So you say, but now that Miriam mentions it, the Colonel sends you just too darn dreamy. Jesus. <laughs> as soon as you settle in your seat, the professor makes an announcement. Think fast. It's time for a pop quiz. Well, Yay, a quiz about me. Oh, wait. <laughs> okay, it's stupid. This incredible, important, no. surprisingly short quiz will tell me if you're ready for life at Culinary School. Did they just start? Is it just like the first day? Keep your knife sharp and your focus sharper. Here comes question number one. 
if tra train A is traveling to point B and train B is traveling to point A, how important is it to wash your hands before cooking? Sorry? <laughs> <laughs> Looking at you, Pop. Uh, it doesn't matter at all. I mean, depend well, yeah, it's extremely... That's right! Forest is to tree as chicken is to... Slam dunk! <laughs> <laughs> Feather. What is the most efficient eating utensil ever created? A spork? <laughs> what food is best for a broken heart? A pancake that looks like a sea. Oh, Ew, anything as long as it's prepared with love and not too much salt. This dog is like. Is Sprinkles a good boy? Oh, yes, he's the talking he is dog. He's the best boy. He is the best boy. <laughs> oh, he's. Oh, yeah, I didn't even see that. He's the best boy. He is the best boy. Five out of five. Score! Yeah, well, I'll be honest. Did you cheat? You look up to see that Colonel Sanders is watching you tally your score. He's impressed. <gasps> I know we just met, but I have to confess. I think you are a beautiful brain. <laughs> you are a beautiful brain. You have a beautiful brain. Uh, you are a beautiful brain. <laughs> Hot diggity <laughs> Karen, you just scored some major Colorado Center points with that performance. May I have your attention, students? I have an important announcement to make. We're making progress. <laughs> Time for lunch. Wow, the cafeteria is as nice as the res any restaurant you ever eaten at all. So there's like five students. <laughs> it makes sense. What? Oh, there. Yeah. It makes sense oh, that a school dedicated to cooking would also be serious about eating. A delicious fragrance wafts through the room and tickles the end of your nose. Your mouth waters. There's like seven students I like. <laughs> Do you smell that? That smells my. That must be our lunch. It smells crazy good. What if we're cooking our lunch? Everyone, can I have your attention? <laughs> It's about to be lunch. No, I wanted to apologize for our tardiness. Just say I was. Howdy, folks. I would like to make an announcement. Feel free to. Hey, I was. <coughs> it's about lunch. He must have prepared lunch for me specifically, but I. Shh. Lunch, lunch, lunch. She said shh. <laughs> and out of a new submit, I have prepared something special to share with you for lunch. That must be s the smell I smelled. Indeed, that smell. You hold your breath waiting to see what food this mysterious student has created. You heard that he's very talented, but were the rumors true? <laughs> Don't think about this. This is Stuart Cafeteria. He's gonna pull out some fried chicken. Got lemon herbs and spices. I'm okay with that. Is, is this? this Colin or Sanders it's lifts a large bucket above his head and it's caught his liver to the light. It's beautiful. It looks like mashed potatoes like in a bucket. Now I want some KFC. Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> he hasn't spooned us yet. <laughs> <laughs> Piled high are huge pieces of chicken breaded and fried to crispy golden finish. The aroma <laughs> envelopes you and you begin to feel warm and safe. Colin or Sanders have filled a bucket with chicken. What a novel concept. Your stomach begins to grumble as if it says, Stop thinking and start eating him out. <laughs> for years, I've been developing a secret recipe for the perfect fried chicken. But by my calculations, nothing less than 11 heroes and spices. Did you say heroes? <laughs> <laughs> 11 heroes. Uh, 11 heroes. <laughs> we feed the heroes to the people. We put it in our chicken. We got a second right Superman and all his crew. Don't notice the red, it's just. <laughs> Eleven herbs and spices are required to achieve the perfect balance of flavors. You look around and notice that every other student has a pen and paper and is scribbling notes as fast as they can. Oh. But that's all I say about that. What do you think you mean what your stupid secret recipe do? Pshia! Nah, my dude, nah. I'm just uh, drafting a last will and testament in case uh, one of those ingredients is uh, poison. Got him? He looks around nervously to see if anyone else is laughing at his sick burn. You wait Silence. to see the zinger Ashley has prepared to follow up, but she suddenly takes a different approach. Yeah, and I was just like, oh, writing in my diary. Dear diary, today I smell something beautiful. I knew at the moment that only the hands of a true gentleman could fry chicken so tender. You see her body language change from bitter to evil to sweet and innocent as she slides closer to Colin O'Sinner. That's my man! <laughs> she realizes that he is destined for greatness and fame with cooking skills like this. She wants him all to herself. Mm. Oh, please. Mm. Well, Van Van the Man Man, if you don't say any, I'll take this. If you don't want any, I'll take it. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> well, hold on, I guess I guess. I mean, I guess I'll try it. He takes one bite, his eyes grow wide, he starts contouring his face as he tries to hold it in his pure exhilaration and act unimpressed. But it's good. That face, though, dude, like, bruh. As he serenades his gorgeous. What if they end up hooking up together, like those two, just like. 
That's that's our man. <laughs> <laughs> Easy now. This is not for everyone. Please, my fellow cats, dig in. You take one of the pieces of fried chicken out of this bucket and sink your teeth into it. It's amazing. <laughs> Tasting Colorado says food transport you to another dimension. Oh. We in space! <laughs> Along with your taste buds, grip it to jumpstick in your hands. You float white. When that chicken's so good, it teleports you to a whole different dimension. Well, we're dying, so focus your mind and mandate at this moment. Try to identify every flavor. Savor the moment and everything that it tells you about Colorado's in culinary heart. <sighs> we gotta get closer to the heart. That's how you Should get any guy. <laughs> <laughs> the flavors in your mouth are beautiful, pure, and heavenly. What a guy! <laughs> Alone with the flavors, you feel something that can only be described as love. For a man, for a flavor, are they the same? After tasting his food, you try to get some one-on-one -on -one time with the Colonel Sanders. Yes, we're going to spoon on the table! Yes! You approach him. Colonel Sanders smiles ever so softly as you approach. He stops what he's doing and allows you to break the silence. Colonel, I wondered if I could talk to you for a second. Anything for a fellow chef. What exactly was on that chicken? <gasps> <laughs> now bored do you to come out and ask. Was it a peg? What? <laughs> it's a bird on that with a beard. The beard has a bird. The bird has a beard. <laughs> it's an idea I had for a new combination of flavors that would make me... My fortune established my legacy for all time as I open a chain of highly successful fried chicken restaurant. No big deal. It's just time you and me here talk. I can keep a secret. In fact, I got some of my own that I've been willing to trade. What's the rush? The semester's only getting started. We've got two more whole days to get to know each other. Two days? Three days in total? He's clearly not going to give it up easily, but it doesn't hurt to be persistent. Only three days? You know what they say about secrets, Colin? Shouldn't let him be fun. <laughs> You've got Moxie, I give you that. Looks both ways to make sure you're truly alone, and then leans in. You can feel his warm breath as he whispers. As he whispers. Just wanna greet him, but you can't tell. I use blank. <laughs> it's something my great grandmother taught me. Blank? Wow! You never have guessed that, in fact, that you're not even sure what you're get sometime if you're searched. <laughs> Broken English. English. While you wrapped up in this huge revelation, you notice that Colonel Sanders has disappeared. While everyone else is still in the cafeteria, you decide to look for him. 